one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yo, is this Elden Ring footage? Kojima. Productions. Ooh, I wanna play you on my Twitch stream on Sunday. The rope along with the stick are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick to keep the bad away, the rope used to bring the good towards us. They were our first friends of our own invention. Wherever there were people, there were the rope and the stick. Tag yourself. I would, I'm the stick for sure. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion. But dumch. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. I hope it's Earth. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. Is this Sting's autobiography? Oh, but then you gotta go when you gotta go, gotta go, gotta change the music to zero. Cause you gotta, gotta, he made the custom soundtrack bespoke. But unfortunately, that means that you're gonna get DMCA'd if you just let it play. You gotta yell over top of the music to defeat the algorithm. Anyway, we're back. <laughs> this is Death Stranding. I really do think that it is, like, the best-looking game I've ever played. Even though I've only played, like, an hour and a half of it. Like, it, it looks gorgeous. You can mute in-game music... If you if if you can prove that to me, I will do it. Cause I mean, we spent the last ten minutes like trying to test and see if you could do that, and it seemed like the answer was that it did not exist. And if you say just Google it, you are about to be perma banned from the chat. <laughs> you will be removed from the chat post haste. So. Any kind of options menu backseating, I just want you to know you got a lot riding on it. You got a lot riding on it. Compromise to a permanent end. It's just nice, right? Like, just a nice little motorcycle trip out here in, in Iceland. Just a man riding a bike. Just a baby drinking coffee. Smoking big cigars. Music is done, by the way. All right, but you're risking a perma ban. Confirmed. No, no perma ban today. <laughs> like Happy Hob says, you perma banned. Saved. Extreme Cloud Strife energy. What was that? That's that's Happy Hob uh, during the uh, Warzone charity stream that we did. Way back in the day that 17 people were here for. There may be a Hafu versus Dan chess match in the near future. Um, that'll be great content to react to, let me tell you that. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure Dan's elo is like 400 in bullet, and 90% of his wins come on time. Actually, probably 100%. And Hafu's rating is, uh, I think, like in the 14 or 1500s. <laughs> I love the umbrella. I, I love the shoulder pads. She looks like she's from the Legion of Doom. Oh, you said Hob, not Hafu. Okay. I don't know how good Hob is, but he's pretty good at Demon Souls. Uh, 
Oh no, huh? It's Elise! Oh, great. Fuck. Frick. And dude, this is the part that I'm most looking forward to. Is just walking around with this stuff on my back, man. Like, I'm being straight up with you. I'm very much looking forward to just walking through the, the fjords of Iceland. Picking stuff up and... And going on some banter. So this is, for now, we're going to Central North City. Um, this is, I, I would call this a tryout for whether or not we're going to play the entire game. You know, we're going we're gonna to see how we like it. We're going to see how uh, chat likes it. And uh, I, I do think that Death Stranding is kind of like uniquely suited to my style of content. Because... What happens in the actual game is not really that relevant. Um, you know, there's a lot of, like, um, you know, just ferrying stuff from point A to point B. Uh, and, and that interests me. That interests me. Plus, you can drink energy drinks to walk faster. <laughs> Which is just like me in real life. And I know, I've said this many times. But people have said you're not going to like it. There's too many cutscenes. I actually love cutscenes, and I love, uh, like, Kojima stories. They're not always coherent, um, but I think that's partly what I enjoy about them, is that they're, they're very, uh, they're very brave. <laughs> I only hate lore when it's, like, your standard video game lore of, like, and then the, the, the marauders took her. They took my wife and child, and that's what I'm... That's my motivation to use my axe to cut everybody up, you know? I like stories. I just, you know, I also like them when they're, when they're interesting. Acid rain. <laughs> this game takes place in the 80s. You can see his pores, man. That's Kojima technology right there. He looks sunburned. You gotta get some, some aloe vera on that. I don't know why when I see the handprints, all I can think about is that video where that Norwegian lady runs like a horse. You ever see that one where she, she runs around on all fours, like, in a very equestrian style? That might be her. That's dude! She's, she's evolving. She's Swedish. Okay, I apologize to the Norwegians in chat. You probably get that a lot. I apologize. <laughs> Apology not accepted. Hey, Sweden gave us a great many things. Elias Patterson, Henrik Sedin, Daniel Sedin, uh, Alex Adler, Jacob Markstrom, Ikea, ABBA. And then also that lady that runs like a horse. Get out of here, man. This is our cave. Social distancing. There's, you're only supposed to have two people in an elevator right now, okay? It's an Enderman. Yeah, this is the PC version. I dare not tell you what platform it's on. Let me just tell you though, you're gonna be mad. <laughs> yeah, exclamation point code in chat. This is the this is the PS3 version. 
Hold on, I gotta insert this gate. Dude, look at like the... The facial modeling is just absurd. Can you, I can't believe this came out on PS4. Like... It's crazy. It ran at like 12 FPS. <laughs> Fair enough. Sorry. Sorry for the slurp. Well, you know what? We're, we're actually out of slurp hours and we're into gulp hours. Mm -mm. Porter. You know we likes to carry Amazon boxes with the layers it do. That's Informer by Snow. I have to I have to source it in the footnotes so I don't get the MCA. I think they're gone. What the hell? <laughs> Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Must have been the wind. Tears. Yo, do you think that's the surgical scar from when they put his abs in? So you have dooms like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? Uh, 99 until they raise the cap in the new update. Level two then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. Uh, my name is, uh, Bubble, Bubble Shoulders. And I'm Shirty. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Sam Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. Oh, yo, pre-workout. Squiggles. You want it? A crypto buy it a day keeps the time fall away. Uh, only if it's Dogecoin. <laughs> Heavy James Franco in Spider-Man 3 energy. Want to come work for me? Yo, this is how... Did I make the same joke in the YouTube video? Yeah. This is what boomers think it's like to try to get a job in 2020. Much left of us now. Just put on a suit and hide out in a cave with the CEO. And on top of that... Ooh! <laughs> Yikes! I can't help you with that. Your hands looking like a, a trucker's. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receivers. Guess what happens when you fall asleep in the bathtub? Headed into town. Gotta be honest with you. Doesn't seem like the most effective umbrella out there. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. But it is kind of cool. <laughs> it does look awesome. Every time I do it makes me laugh. The time full fast forwards whatever it touches, but it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. Well, yeah, like olive oil, it's hydrophobic, so it's hard to. Some porter bridges. Oh, jeez, she she must have felt threatened. <laughs> Her spikes came out when people get desperate. That's when the spikes come out. All right, let's go. Poggy speed run. I think this is also where it starts to play a bunch of music. Yeah. <laughs> so just give it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually just gonna mute. Um, because we're gonna take the game sound down to zero anyway. I'm gonna mute it for for you, but not for me. Rules for you, but not for me. 
So that way I know when the music is actually done. I mean, don't get me wrong, I apologize, but it's uh, a necessary evil right now. I'm not going to describe music. It's Well, okay, you know what? I'll describe it. It's Icelandic-style music. Can I have... Excuse me, what happened to my crypto bite? A crypto bite a day keeps the spiders away? I have lost my crypto bite? Are you playing at 4K? Um... No, I think we're at like 6K right now. Maybe, I don't know. It was like 7 for a minute, but it probably it probably dipped a little bit. 6.8K, there you go. Yeah, 4K, maybe when we play League, we'll play at 4K. Or like, you know, sometimes if, if Malf and I play Rocket League, but usually we try to we try to go a little bit more ambitious than that. Hmm. You need to be at Y equals 16 to mine crypto bytes. <laughs> you got to know what a crumpet is to know what crypto is. Oh, God. This is like, if you lose footing on your way down here, like, just cancel Christmas. That's what I'm saying. What's going on up here? You know, I'm, I'm not much of an explorer. But there's one rule that I have about video games. If you want me to mainline, that's what I'm exploring. If you want me to explore, that's what I'm mainlining. Dude, it's sick! I didn't know you could hold on to your backpack uh, uh, straps here. It's like, okay, you ready for this? First day of school. Mmm, first day of school. So excited to go to high school. Oh, but I'm a little scared. I don't know uh, if I'm going to know anybody. Last day of high school, if only I could take off one of the straps and just one strap it. <laughs> anyway. If you'll excuse me here, I'd like to climb up on the rocks and get some smart drugs, also known as books. You could just hold one trigger. Yeah, but that's not... You know what? I was kind of a naysayer, but you're absolutely right. Ninth grade, eleventh grade, twelfth grade, first year of college. Anyway, send me. <laughs> and what if you do this? 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 Yeah. Hey, 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 Cobra, let's rattle. You can't hear it, but he's drumming along like right with the music right now. He's a pugilist. <laughs> pugilist? Pugilist? I don't know. Have you seen the video where the dude made an eight hour essay on Death Stranding? Um, I have not seen the eight-hour Death Stranding um, video essay. In fact, I'm, I'm going to be realistic with you. I'm not sure if I've seen a video essay in my entire life. I, I don't know if I've consumed one video essay. Just being straight up with you. I envy you. <laughs> I would like to eat the crypto bite if you don't mind. Mmm, thanks for the blood level, dummy. Disc-based media! It's the last PSP games. And they're trying to give me like all sorts of tutorialization. And look, I already know how to walk. I'm not very good at it, but I, I've done it a lot. No. Look, I'm going to... Two administrative notes here right off the bat. The mouse pointer will be off the screen once I actually, like, alt-tab and uh, put the sound back on. And I promise you, you never need to ask if the music is still going. 
I have a four-year undergraduate degree from one of Canada's top universities. I can handle uh, pushing the button when the music is over, I promise you. It is presently in the middle of a fade-out, but because it is Scandinavian-inspired, the fade-out is eight times longer than the actual song itself. It's almost done. It's just doing a little punky, 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 punky. Is almost done. Is almost done. Okay, I think we're probably ready. But for the future, the more you talk about the mouse cursor, the more likely, like, every complaint about the mouse cursor moves it up one pixel until it's in the exact center of the screen. And then, your perma band. <laughs> okay. Here we go. New North City. Sutomo. <laughs> well, for what? Pooping on the floor? Ludwig. 1200 on chess.com. Okay. Oh, oh, geez, Louise. Okay, that, most games, there'd be an invisible wall there. <laughs> I don't think Death Stranding plays like that. Be careful. Okay, you gotta ford the river here. You gotta, it's not that deep. And then you just grip onto the backpack and slowly make your way across. Slowly make your way across. If you press R1, you can know the depth. I think he can make it, man. Like what is blue is good, yellow is is dangerous. Blue is good, yellow is dangerous. That's correct. Okay, no problem then. Oh, my my endurance is running into a little bit of trouble though. Yellow is dangerous, red is outright bad. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Stand still in the river to replenish your endurance gauge. Ladies and gentlemen, we have almost made it. Somebody should really build a bridge here. Don't drink from the yellow part. <laughs> I get it. Who's just leaving these boxes? Oh, geez, Louise. Momentum, momentum, momentum. Who's just leaving these boxes around, man? They're your boxes from earlier? There's no way when I crashed, this box went like a kilometer down here. I don't, I don't believe you. Maybe the river carried him? Okay, I'll, I'll allow that then. Oh, look at it. Uh, come over. Uh, I can't, I gotta stream. Uh, my parents aren't home. Skirt! Skirt, skirt, skirt! Okay, you're, you are using your stamina though. Lost cargo, emergency provisions. Oh, approaching cargo weight limit. No disrespect to New Knot City, but I'm just built different. Beginning scan. Cargo verified. <laughs> <laughs> You're carrying the vaccines. Please don't drop them. Okay, okay, okay. I look at that. Look, see, I got it. I, I'm gonna get him there fast too. Yo, my brother-in-law, he got his second dose of the vaccine. That's pretty poggy. I, I know a couple people now who have, who have had the vaccine. My dad gets his on Wednesday? That's sick. Tell him to go to the movie theater for me. <laughs> Just take and me. Donkey, donkey. I will not offload cargo from my back. Again, I am built different. I'm just going to carry it. Activate terminal, please. Make delivery. Don't mind if I do. Predict... Oh, I forgot! This game's like Facebook, right? 
Like you get you get likes when you deliver things. That's pretty sick. All cargo is ready to be delivered. The order can be completed. Okay. I will confirm then and deliver current cargo. Don't you hate Facebook? Oh yeah, it's like the worst for sure. There's no doubt about that. This part looks deliberately janky. Lost my bike. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect Well, I was the one doing the hard work while well, you're just counting beans back here. Thank you. There, there was zero damage. I do not fall down. I only fall down when I walk in real life. How, here's a real question for you. And again, get used to it. Because if we're going to play this game, it's going to be like all uh, all banter all the time. Um, how often do you trip when you're walking? Maybe not even like, um, like trip to the extent that you fall over. But just like stumble and then recover. I, I'm going to tell you that I think if I walked for one hour, I probably stumble two times. I feel like I stumble much more than average. Once per half hour would not surprise me. Something to do with the toe walking, maybe, for sure. I don't. Maybe I don't lift my knees high enough to compensate for the fact that I uh, that I walk on the ball of my foot. I'm not sure. But it's like for life. For life I have been a, like a two stumbler. Uh, your Uber's here. <laughs> it just seems impractical, right? Like the rollover risk in this car is just absurd. Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Man, I can't believe it's been like eight months since I played it for the first time and you can still make the same joke about COVID. <laughs> Come on. Should bring jumpsuits back, man. Streamers are always streaming in like Kigurumis and stuff like that. Take a look. Magical girl cosplay. Nobody's ever streaming in like a hazmat suit. He's got a date with the incinerator. Ooh, nice. Sounds hot. <laughs> I don't know the exact POD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with BTs. Sure you can't use another? Isn't it British Telecom? There's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that Wait a minute. In Jeff so Keeley's in this game, right? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Where, when does Jeff Keeley show up? We can do this. We just need someone like you. With dooms. Conan O'Brien is in it? <laughs> That's so good. Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. Conan is easy it. to find. We're Jeff is a you? secret. Okay. I, d I definitely do not promise we will do all the secret and stuff. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge oh, is that a camelback? With its help and you, full of Zinfandel. We'll stay one step ahead of them. Look at that. It's a little, little dang little baby in there. Feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. It freaks me out too. Hello. Hello, you little baby. 
Roll out. <laughs> Autobots. Yo, speaking of which, I, I tweeted about it. But, like, Saturday, yesterday, was insanely busy. We took apart the baby's crib, and then we had, like, this extendo kit that we put on it to make it, like, four times larger, because she's getting a little bigger. Um, and then we moved her into her own room, because we made the, like, we got the nursery done, like, in June or August or something like that. So we got her, uh, we got her in her own room, and I gotta tell you, I have never slept better than I think I slept last night. Like, I honestly... I don't think I have slept right since late September. <laughs> Even when you've got like, uh, you know, seven or eight hours of sleep, it's constantly being interrupted by like, you know, at, at 1 a.m. she'll be like, whoop, 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 whoop. So you're like, I slept for eight hours. Why do I feel like garbage? It's because well, you actually slept for like 45 minutes. As you can see, the death stranding poked us full of holes. But uh, when I uh, when we put her in the the nursery, like oh my god, I slept for nine hours last night, like, and I, I it's the first time I have felt like I slept for nine hours since mid 2020. It's amazing. I feel fantastic. I'm like for for four months I've had like a light level of nausea at all times. And like a, a constant headache. And that today I'm like, this is incredible. Son of a bitch. Rainbow. Frickin' rainbows. After it rains. Much further to the incinerator. There's this enough miracles that could blow your brain. We're have to cut to the BTs. Canada's worst driver. Oh uh oh, he's leaking. <laughs> I think I speak for everybody when I say uh, somebody called the Amber Lamps. Remember that meme? It looks like the baby's first poop. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I apologize. Got us right where they want us. Get us out of here. Um, uh, navigation system? Um, uh, didn't see anything. No. Don't worry, we're in the cyber truck. It's got bulletproof steel. Hey, don't blame the BB. It's just doing what BBs do. Yeah, so when I originally played, I uh, I got past this. I think I got far enough to have a conversation with Guillermo del Toro. Oh no, he <laughs> he's driving like people pretend to drive. It's Rob Stark. Wait, 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 whoa, that's Holden. That's Holden from The Expanse, man. You can't sneak that by me. I don't know if it actually is, because he, he's dead already. But yeah, he was holding that steering wheel badly. <laughs> Yo, is that a Walkman? Norman Reedus, 1980s aesthetic, undefeated. I love knowing absolutely nothing about this game. I think Death Stranding is kind of like the real world. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know everything about the real world, but I just embrace the fact that, you know, you're not supposed to know everything about the real world. That's how I feel about Death Stranding. Like, yeah, sure, this guy's got a weird thing coming out of his shoulder, 
Sometimes I'll just be driving around. I'll see somebody with like a weird thing in their hands. I don't pull over and go like, what the heck's that? I just go, all right, fair enough. It's probably like a surveyor or something. Did I? Oh, I didn't tell you, but I, I mentioned it in the in the Unity Discord yesterday. Kate and I uh, donated a bunch of baby stuff yesterday. Thank you so much for the. Thank, thank you. No, I don't do it for the praise. I do it to get the clutter out of my house. But we donated a bunch of baby stuff yesterday, and uh, when we were driving around, we ended up at a stoplight behind a Bentley Bentayga. Which is a minimum, like, $150,000 USD SUV. And the license plate was Naruto. <laughs> I was... I felt every human emotion simultaneously in that moment. A meme millionaire. Oh no. Well, you know, you did want to dispose of the corpse. I would say mission accomplished. Or not. <laughs> You're right, it is Golden Face from Threat Level Midnight. Dude, it's just a spa treatment. That's just a charcoal mud bath. It's mouth killing me when I'm downed in PUBG. Red baby. Yeah, if I'm ever in this situation and this exact thing happens, you have my permission to, to ice me before I become 200 years old in the space of three seconds. Don't, don't feel the obligation to let me age incredibly rapidly before you put me out of my misery. <laughs> but only if this exact thing happens. If I'm just like, I have a stomach ache. I can make it, I promise. Hey, do a flip. <laughs> Nasty way to go. He got his baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Mom says it's my turn to use the Xbox. No, it's not a huge you-know-what. That was his umbilical cord to the core of the earth. You wouldn't understand. You have to watch it, the eight-hour video and say to understand this game? Okay, Chad. It, oh, the, every video game story should just be an evil wizard has brought a, a conflict to our previously peaceful realm. 
I'm gonna pick up a sword and find a friend who can is probably a lady who can do healing magic and then let's go endeavor to take down the uh, the evil wizard at the top of his castle. Come on, man. It's called a metaphor, sweetheart. It's called an allegory. Baby Enderman. See, don't, don't. You can show that far. Even, I felt like I got away with something just showing that. <laughs> but you can't show any lower. You never know, though. You never know with Hideo Kojima. Like, he's the kind of guy, you know you're gonna see butt. Get over it, okay? You should be thankful you're seeing butt. You know how rarely you see, like, your own butt in real life? He's giving you a treat. He's reminding you what it looks like. But Kojima, it would not surprise me if he's the kind of game dev where, like, he shows off Norman Reedus' balls, but never shows the schlong. Because he's an artist like that. Like, a, like, you're gonna wake up from sleep one day, and it's just gonna be, like, balls. And you're gonna be like, where's the schlong? And then it's gonna cut away, and he's gonna be drinking a monster energy drink. A true auteur. Exactly. I'm pretty much following this one for one right now. I, I, if you need me to explain it to you, maybe you should pay attention next time. <laughs> Please explain and don't tell me to Google it. Um, this is where it's the meme picture of the, the guy holding the back of the girl's neck at the sports game. It's an, it's an allegory for grief in a world constantly beset by environmental crisis. Can we get a plot summary for somebody who just tuned in? Uh, he swim. He swim. This is the start of the game out of this world. Might Saruba. Oh, look at that. Scan, move camera, or repatriate. Sam is a rep repatriate, meaning he can return to life from the place known as the seam when killed. In the seam, follow the strand to guide Sam's soul back to his body, to bring him back. Glug! Hello, Poggy. <laughs> oh no, I know where this ends. Mads Mickelson. Don't, don't do it. He's gonna eat the baby, dude. I've seen Hannibal. He's gonna eat the baby. God, I wish that was me. And we're back. Dude, by the way, some of you, you know, you're probably like in your first year of college. If you ever throw up and it looks like that, have somebody get you to the hospital as soon as possible. You are gonna die if you don't go see a doctor. Yeah, especially if there's some crypto bites in it. If there's a couple of doge coins in it, then, you know, just pick them up, put them in your pocket. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. Oh, is this Kimi no Nawa? And then came the next explosion. An explosion. Looks like a Bloomberg News ad for a Canadian last. junior mining company. Anybody? 
Anybody? Just me? 